the book Love the Ones Who Drive You Crazy is it's a book about unity and particularly about, well, you can tell from the title how challenging unity can be. I think the main thrust of the book is that unity in a church is challenging precisely because ideally a church is centered on Christ alone. It's not built on Christ and your political persuasions or on Christ and your uh, cultural background or about Christ and a particularly musical vibe. If a church really is just built on Christ alone, then we're going to find Christians who disagree on a whole bunch of different things and yet who are to be together in the church. That's challenging. It's also glorious because that is the nature of a church that shows off the glory of Jesus, that he is big enough, good enough, strong enough to hold us together. Uh, where did the book come from? It, it really came from two different places. The first was uh, uh, a prior book that I wrote several years ago with Mark Dever called The Compelling Community. I think one of the main pieces of feedback I've gotten from the book over the years is it gives a marvelous biblical vision for what a church should look like. It doesn't give a lot of uh, practical guidelines as to how to get there, particularly in how to build community where we really may only share Christ in common. As I watched my own church struggle through a lot of differences uh, in particularly 2000, 2001, uh, at the same time, I was spending time in the last chapters of the book of Romans. And I began, as I saw uh, people in my church who were struggling, often struggling with me, but struggling with faith uh, to pursue unity despite all those differences, I began to, in my mind, map those onto what I was seeing in Paul's advice to churches that were full of differences between Jew and Gentile. And I began to see there's some very good gospel tools in those last chapters in Romans to help our churches today, very practically, to understand how we can pursue unity in Christ, even if we disagree on lots of secondary matters.